Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and first of all I would like to thank all my Patreon and YouTube supporters. If you are not one of them, please consider changing that for as little as two bucks a month. But now, toothpicks. You know, toothpick quads, the quads that are super slim with super slim arms, small motors, three inches. If they break, they break, but they are super light and some say that they fly pretty well. I will be honest, I kinda missed the evolution of the toothpick class. Uh, quadcopters because I always assumed and I still kind of assume that everything below five inches is not really flying like I wanted to fly. However, uh, however, when I was given an opportunity to pick something, actually pick something from the background offered for the review because I kind of again doing from time to time reviews for Banggood, I kind of maybe I really should try this this whole toothpick stuff and I picked Something that some people say is a toothpick, some people say it's not a toothpick, because even I made a poll on the YouTube if a toothpick with the proper size bigger than 3 inches is a toothpick and majority of you says said that no, this is not a toothpick. So today we will check if this thing, which is called the Aurora RC Stick 4, four because it has four inch propellers, it looks like a toothpick, weights like a toothpick, although it's not really three inches, so maybe we can just call it a chopstick. What we're gonna do today? Today, now I will change the camera angle and show you how this thing is more or less built what inside. Then we will go to the flying field, to my favorite flying spot. We will put this thing into the air and then we will draw a conclusion. Um, does 4 inch propeller toothpick style or chopstick style frames and the quadcopters are the best ne are the best next thing because uh, yeah this is kind of cool because it weighs less than 250 grams with the lipo installed and that that is kind of good right so let's go this is the aurora stick 4 yes the 4 in the stick 4 refers of course to the 4 inch propeller the set came equipped with two sets Eight propellers in total of the Gamfan 4032 props and if we just take a look at the whole quad as it is um, looks like a classical toothpick I mean four arms two plates of carbon and then everything built uh, in on top of that looks kind of like the classical toothpick and if I would have to be honest looks pretty pretty nice so I'm um, all I can say about the looks of this thing is that it's not ugly. It's not ugly. The hardware, the camera is the uh, Cadix Turbo EOS 2. Uh, this version I got was equipped with the XM Plus uh, receiver. So everything you really need on your drone that just flies around uh, without having to go very, very far. And the flight controller is the F411 plus the 400 uh, milliwatt VTX and the 4-in-1 uh, ESC that connects to the motors. The motors are probably quite good. This is the T-Motor F1507. So relatively, I don't really want to say big motor for the 4-inch propellers because I would kind of really expect something slightly bigger in terms of the motor. Uh, but probably will work just fine. This is the version designed for the 4S LiPo, so it has 2700 kV. If to all of that you add the 3D printed with the TPU filament uh, casing for the... This is TPU? Yeah, this is definitely TPU. Casing for the camera, holder for the VTX, uh, the video antenna and two antennas of the XM Plus, you have the whole Aurora. It came fully soldered, fully prepared. I, in theory, I had to do nothing to make it fly besides plugging in the battery and uh, <laughs> actually binding the receiver. However, uh, however, in my case, it was not that simple because I had to make two adjustments. The One of the problems is, in my opinion, the original strap for the battery, which is kind of kind of flimsy. It's not really holding the battery very well. There was this rubberish pad that you can solder over here, but one 
layer of this thing was not really holding the battery firmly in place so I did something else I just put the 3M uh, how it's called this 3M uh, I always forget how this tape is called let me wait, let me find the okay 3M dual lock I just put the 3M dual lock both on the bottom plate of the of the quad and on the on the battery and trust me this is the best way to install the battery because it really looks works like the velcro but really like super powerful velcro and you can probably fly and even crash with this thing without really having to have the uh, battery strap installed however the strap is not uh, it's not it's useful i will probably have to replace the strap with something better because this thing is really like no this is not the best quality however for my perspective the biggest problem was the original plug for the battery because for unknown reasons for a four inch toothpick or chopstick quad they ship this thing with the xt60 which is let's be honest kind of slightly too big for usually the size uh, of the batteries yes they gave also this um, this adapter that you can uh, swap this with the xt30 but then it's kind of like you know it's kind of almost the whole adapter and the plug is right now almost the, the length of the whole battery so it will just look awkward installed somewhere there so i just cut the cable shorten the cable slightly and solder the xt30 connector which will work much better than what we have right now because after all this thing is bloody light uh, maybe not light as uh, three inch uh, toothpicks but still pretty light because the whole quad with the lipos not the lipos the propellers installed weights only 140 grams if you add the the lipo 550 milliamp hours 4s on top of that you came up with 213 grams so way below the safe safe limit of 250 grams and you depending of course where you are you are allowed to fly almost anywhere you want with this thing the question remains um, does it fly we will know in a few minutes uh, for me it will be at least a few days so now we're gonna take um we're gonna cut this part of the video and we will meet it we will meet each other when i'm on the flying field trying to see if this thing is actually worth anything in terms of the flight uh, performance by the way it came uh, flashed with the beta flight four point four no 4.04 or something like that uh, and the only serial port uh, configured is the serial port for the sbus receiver there is no uh, trump protocol or any other and no telemetry connected with it but yeah, should be should be really fine so let's go to the flying field stick 4 is ready for action as you can see i have the battery already installed it's a 4s 550 uh, if i remember correctly battery it looks kind of smallish on this uh, kind of biggish after all four inch quad so i'm kind of wonder if the voltage suck will not be too much because i might i'm slightly afraid that the battery might be slightly too small however this is quite a light uh, design so maybe the voltage suck and the current will not be really a problem i'm in my favorite flying spot like always so let me set up everything and let's do some flying i am ready quad is ready let's see if this thing can fly okay this thing can fly however i have to say that camera is shit no really i will be quite honest with you the camera is not the best one it's really hard to see where i'm flying in those conditions and uh, especially after going from the light to dark you really 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 have to guess where am i but besides that for a maiden it's not as bad no vibrations on punch outs and so at least this is fine however 
The propeller definitely is problematic, so I will have to try to tune this thing already. Oh, what the hell happened over there? But overall, for the 149 or 59 bucks, you actually got a full quad that behaves kind of nice. Definitely, I will have to increase the rates to match my flying style because the faults are just too low for me and play a little with the D gains. But wee, it's flying. Uh, ooh, wee, the, but then no, 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 no. The camera is not the best camera in the world. Look just what's happening. Oh, ooh, and the idol is also too low. Oh, what's happening? So you cannot really. Wee! <laughs> no! <laughs> this is funny. Wee! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Wee! <laughs> One more time. Wee! Super funny. No, definitely. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the idol is too low and quad loses all the stabilization on zero throttle, so I will have to adjust that in the beta flight configurator. <laughs> that is wee and pui. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> so uh, definitely you can. <laughs> uh, definitely you cannot just pull the throttle to zero uh, because this ends up in the super crappy 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 performance okay let me land <laughs> update the uh, the idol <laughs> let's see what's gonna happen then because we we oh, oh it's hard to it's hard to land this thing really hovers super 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 low and the camera is crap okay I think I found out why it was doing this strange flip because air mode was not enabled by default. I have no idea why it was not enabled by default because I'm pretty sure that air mode is enabled by default or maybe I'm wrong, really hard to say right now. And as soon as I did that, you see, it's no longer doing this. <laughs> think when only you pull the throttle to zero and immediately the flight got much 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 better ah! whoops whoopsie daisy okay so now we will be able to check the damage so let's check the damage and let's see if the thing survived without huge problems uh, although i really don't suspect anything will be wrong because after all it was relatively low speed and I just hit uh, with a super light quad, a super small uh, branch on a relatively low speed, so really everything should be just fine. But, well, you know, never know. So far, I think it's too early yet to say how this thing is flying. Um, like I said already a few times, I don't like the camera. On the other hand, the whole quad is uh, relatively cheap and a good qu camera probably would cost like, I don't know, 40, well, 25, maybe 20% 20 of the whole price of the whole quad. So it's rather obvious that nobody put a really good camera like something from Runcam or somewhere like that. Where's the quad? I hit the branches here and where's the quad? Here's the quad. Can you see the quad? It's over here. You see how nicely it positions itself inside of those small trees and survived without any problem. So I will still be flying this thing. So the camera. Uh, right now definitely the biggest problem is the camera and the fact that the default tune, well, it's Right. And I, I don't, I'm not even 100% sure that the defaults are the beta flight defaults. Because the P gains were strange and also the I gains were kind of strange. But I think if I will play a little with the D gains, I will be able to tune out those uh, oscillations and the prop wash on the hard turns. So let me just fly things, think.
some more and then we're gonna do the summary of the quad the stick four thingy here to pick four inch overall verdict on the aurora rc toothpick chopstick four inch stick four quad honestly after i got this thing slightly better tuned i mean i had to rise the idle throttle because the fault five and a half was definitely too low i had to enable the air mode i had to lower the p gains or on both roll and pitch to around 34 not 32 34 something like that and raising the demin to around 30 and lowering the throttle in the beta flight uh, to 75 percent the throttle scale it got quite a pleasurable in the air i really had fun flying this however on the faults i don't think that this quad should be used as advertised on 4s lipos at least not as long as you want to keep a light lipo on it because with 100 percent throttle it was just hovering too low uh, it was super hard to land it was super hard to bring it in one piece into the ground and uh, I think it would be flying actually better on 3S. Uh, of course, not in the full racing mode or something like that, but who does racing on the 4 inches right now? However, on the 4S, it was slightly too powerful, um, mainly because of the throttle point, hover throttle point, and, uh, and this, and the super strange configuration by default. So I really had to change quite a lot and I'm really, almost positively sure that it was a custom tune for the for the squad on the beta flight it were not those were not defaults and unfortunately the still the weakest point of this camera is this uh, cadix EOS turbo 2 fpv camera which unfortunately is not handling the changing light conditions like i have right now flying over here in the evening um but like i said Maybe I did it out, so I haven't said it after all. Um, but then probably using a better camera that costs slightly more and handles the different light conditions better would increase the price of the whole build slightly significantly. Still, we get a quite good motors. We get uh, quite a decent stack, quite a decent ESC, a frame that's, well, Maybe not pretty, but also not ugly, just works. And uh, if you do replace the uh, original battery strap, it's kinda good. Relatively cheap, four inch chopstick. I think we're gonna stick with the chopstick name for that thing. Um, I think my, I might even keep it after the tests. Because in half a year, 25 gram limits. Yeah. Okay. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.